Worried that your relationship is on razor's edge? Is your boyfriend acting strange? Are you wondering if a breakup is in your future? Hi, I'm loving commitment expert Lucy Goldman from Love Learnings TV. Breakups can come out of nowhere, especially for women. I'm going to give you the top things to look for if you're worried about getting dumped. These are signs that come long before the we need to talk. And the earlier you recognize them, the better chance you have to save your relationship. Remember that these signs indicate a big change in his feelings for you. If he's always acted this way, then they aren't signs that he's going to break up with you, but might be signs that you should break up with him. Let's get into it. One, pulling away. A classic sign, but one that might be easy to miss. Is your boyfriend suddenly quiet? Does it seem like you have to text first if you want to make plans or even just to talk? This imbalance is a sure sign that your relationship is on a downward trajectory. Two, hot and cold. An impending breakup doesn't usually come in the form of sudden anger or cruelty. More often, it's extreme swings of affection and then a complete withdrawal of that affection. When men do this, it's because they're going through an emotional struggle behind the scenes, whether or not they're going to end the relationship. You'll know this is happening if he swings from loving and affectionate to cold and distant for seemingly no reason. This isn't necessarily a sign that he's about to dump you, but it certainly can be a red flag. Often men will try to double down on romance in order to quiet their own doubts about the relationship or to hide infidelity. Then they'll shut down emotionally when they can no longer keep up with the facade. Three, picking fights. If your boyfriend seems like he's spoiling for a fight over the small things that normally wouldn't bother him, this could be a sign that he might end your relationship. Conflict happens in relationships, but when men pick fights over nothing, it's often an attempt to anger you, push you away, and ultimately get you to end things so he doesn't have to. Four, social separation. Do you find that you're no longer a part of his life and his friends? Are you suddenly cut out of his plans that would normally include you? Has he stopped posting you on his social media in all the same ways? Everything else could seem perfect on paper, but if he's slowly cutting you out of his life and his social circle, this is a sure sign that his feelings for you may have changed. Maybe he's cheating. Maybe he just can't fake it anymore. Maybe his friends know. Whatever his reason, you might be on your way to singlehood. Five, he won't make plans. If you were planning a trip, a get together, or any sort of activity, and he seems to suddenly be vague and unwilling to nail down your plans, this is a huge red flag. When a guy acts this way, it often means that he doesn't think you two will still be together for when that time comes. Six, pointing out his own flaws. If he's suddenly critical of himself or other relationships when you're around, he could be hinting that he wants to break up. This is similar to picking fights in that it's an attempt to turn the tables and make you end the relationship. This one is especially common with men who have troubles discussing their feelings or dealing with any inner conflict. Seven, gut feeling. Don't ignore your gut. Everything could look perfect on paper, but if you have a feeling something is wrong, you should definitely explore it, if only to put your mind to rest. So if you've noticed one or more of these signs in your relationship, how do you respond? First off, the biggest mistake you could make is being silent and hoping it'll just go away on its own. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to take action. Option one is to give him space. Women are shocked when I tell them that this can really solve the most of their relationship problems. The truth is that most men deal with commitment issues on a biological level. This means that trying to bridge the gap and get closer to him often has that opposite effect. Instead, if you take a step back from the relationship, you'll make him worry about losing you. It doesn't take much. Even not texting him for a couple days can make him realize the huge mistake that he's making and just come to his senses. It really can be that simple. It's tough to make men stay, especially good men. If you can't seem to get that second date or your relationships always come to a sudden end, you need Amy North. Go to coachnorth.com right now to learn all about the devotion system, her foolproof method to attract a better man and keep him for good. What do you have to lose? That's coachnorth.com. 
Option two is to address the elephant in the room. Chances are, you know this guy pretty well. If he's not the kind of person who responds to space, you might need to opt for this more direct option. Addressing the issue. Often, these feelings of disconnection can be solved by an open and frank discussion that can actually bring the two of you closer together. But how can you bring up this difficult subject? First off, don't come at him with negative and accusatory language. I'm sure you're hurting right now, but attacking him is only going to make things worse. And above all else, don't ask him if he's going to break up with you. Instead, just tell him that you're worried that you two haven't been connecting the way you usually do. Tell him you care about him and you want to work it out. Ask him how he's been feeling and if there's anything that has been bothering him. And what you do next is the most important part. Listen. You need to hear and understand what he's going through if you can have any hope at making this relationship work. Come at this conversation trying to understand, not correct his behavior. Option three, change it up. They say if you want your relationship to change, you have to make the change. I find this advice to be helpful in almost any situation. This is because it's offering a solution rather than raising an issue. You've noticed your relationship is in a bit of a slump. Whether or not he really feels the same way, when you take the initiative to improve things, it can only make your relationship better for the both of you. I recommend this if you've already been through some rough patches before and you know that talking it out isn't gonna be making any difference. What form this change takes is really up to you. It can be something as simple as changing up your typical date night or as radical as going on a week-long trip together. The important thing here is that it's self-motivated. You're giving something to the relationship rather than taking from it. By making the change, you're showing him that there's more to you and to the relationship than he initially thought. So he's gonna have to stick around to find out what else you have in store. Are you worried that he doesn't feel the same way about you that you feel about him? Go to coachnorth.com slash does he like me right now to take Amy North's free quiz. This diagnostic tool will tell you once and for all if he's crushing on you or not. And it only takes 10 minutes. Finding out this information is crucial for any woman who is looking to move things further forwards with her crush. That's coachnorth.com slash does he like me. Thanks for watching YouTube. I'm Lucy Goldman and this is Love Learnings TV. Please like and subscribe. Bye.